This year's FAFSA saw a large overhaul, changing the way aid is looked at for students, causing frustrations for some, but experts say it's worth it. Figuring out how to pay for college can be stressful. One reason more than 20 students and parents gathered at the Billings Career Center this week to attend FAFSA night. I expected it to be much more complicated than it was going to be. FAFSA is the free federal application that can be filled out by any college student to help them qualify for loans, grants, and work-study programs to receive money for school. School. The program has been around for decades, but this year it's gotten a big makeover. It did help to be yeah. here. Yeah. So. The Department of Education has completely redone not only how the FAFSA form is filled out, but how aid is granted. The changes to the, the FAFSA application uh, are supposed to open up more aid for students. Um, there's always going to be a segment of students that um, are going to um, have a different amount and may not be as, el as eligible more eligible for as much aid as they had in the past. More students will qualify for Pell Grants and parents or contributors will be able to retrieve their tax information completely online through the IRS rather than by entering it in manually. Your parents um, are now con called contributors so um, the way the FAFSA works now is a student would log in and um, indicate who is going to contribute information to the FAFSA application and then that email or that would be sent to the contributor and the contributor would be asked to log on and complete their portion of the FAFSA application. Other changes include transitioning the expected family contribution to a student aid index, eliminating the sibling discount, and farms and small businesses are to be claimed as assets which will mean less aid for some farm and ranching families in Montana. We had some great success with some families. Other families hit some roadblocks. Um, for me, it was a really big learning opportunity. And also of concern is timing. The form opened up December 30th, much later than the normal date of October 1st. And this means the window for students to pick a college has shortened. It's been a really long process. It's been delayed significantly. So the process about three to four months behind. All changes aimed improving the system, despite some temporary challenges along the way. The important thing is to still fill out the form. I feel like um, for the amount of things that you can get from it, from scholarships, financial aid, it's well worth an hour of your time. In Billings, Isabel Sparts, MTN News.